I'm going to show you five projects that I think every game developer should try. And in case you're looking to get your first job in the games industry, then these projects will hopefully help you get that job a lot faster. The first project is to build a puzzle game centered around the spatial reasoning core dynamic. As a developer, no matter what you specialize in, the most common thing you'll have to do whilst on the job is solve problems. This is where building puzzle games can come in handy. This project will teach you a lot about designing and thinking in patterns. During this project's research phase, you'll likely play many other puzzle games, finding out about combinations of ideas and patterns that you've never seen before. This will enhance your built-in reference of patterns and teach you strategies for utilizing them, empowering you to become a better problem solver going forwards. The second project is to build a tool for your favorite game engine. As a game developer, at some point down the line, you'll likely encounter a situation where the engine you're using doesn't have a tool to do what you need, or the tools which it does have could be redesigned to seriously optimize your workflow, saving you and your team countless hours in the future. Even if you're not planning on becoming a tool developer in a professional studio, developing your own tool now will help you better understand how these tools are designed, which can profoundly impact the way in which you approach new tools in the future. And who knows, maybe your tool will be so useful that you end up making a healthy income from it. The original creator of Unreal's Voxel plugin recently tweeted that the tool makes well over 100k a year. Whether you release your tools on the marketplace for a fee, or as an open source project, it will undoubtedly be a unique feature that separates your portfolio from the masses. And if you need that extra little bit of inspiration, I've linked some of my favorite tools in the description. The third project is to build your own game engine. Trust me, it's not as hard as you think. This will give you some basic experience and understanding of game engine architectures and graphics, which is super important and something that is highly sought after in the industry. It's also something that's really fun to do, and you'll surely use it when talking to other people about new game engines in the future. This might seem like a super hard undertaking, but there are plenty of tutorials out there that make this way easier than you might think. There should be no doubt in your mind that this will be a strong feature on your portfolio. The fourth project is the creation of visual effects for games. VFX are the mechanisms which bridge the gap between art and code, and in my opinion is one of the most exciting art forms which exist. Doing this not only teaches you a lot about the technical and performance side of art, but also lets you unleash your creativity on something that can have a beautiful visual outcome. You can choose to create portals, explosions, auras, or anything that your imagination can come up with. It's certainly eye candy when going through a developer's portfolio, giving it that extra touch of color and creativity. Just take a look at some of these VFX on ArtStation. They truly have the potential to bring that wow factor to your portfolios. I personally fell in love with visual effects a while back, and this will undoubtedly be a topic which I continue covering on this channel in the future. The fifth and final project is arguably the most exciting one. Create a game dev YouTube channel. Sharing your knowledge and game development journey with others will help you find like-minded people who share the same passions as you. And if you decide to teach on the platform, then you'll have a proven demonstration for potential employers that you know what you're talking about. As the Roman philosopher Seneca once said, while we teach, we learn. There's no better way to prove your knowledge than to teach it to somebody else. Now there are many more benefits to building a YouTube channel, including boosting your confidence, learning a wide variety of skills such as video editing, SEO and better overall communication, as well as gaining trust in an audience that may one day want to play your games. Take Jonas for example. Will You Snail wouldn't have gotten nearly as many downloads if he wasn't creating content on YouTube. I hope these ideas motivate you to push forward on your game development journey, and I look forward to seeing what you can come up with.